This is the hip flex stability stretch in a half kneeling position. One knee down on a towel. That towel is going to serve as feedback for your brain. You'll see in a moment. The other foot in front of you. So that knee on the towel is going to pull forward while the front foot is going to pull backwards at the same time. Then I'm going to put my hands over one in the front of my pelvis and one arm behind my pelvis. And I'm going to move my center of gravity forward in space while pushing with the right knee and pulling with the left foot. Coming forward, so I'm resisting this movement forward, and then as I go back to where I came from, I'm driving that bottom knee forward, 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 forward. Then if I want to increase the length of that stretch, I just stretch out the whole line of that side of the body, coming forward without arching my low back, driving that knee that's down forward, pulling with that front foot, and then coming back and out of there. Now that's in the forward to backward plane of motion. I can add a side stretch to this. By moving into the side plane, I'm now lengthening and side bending as I move forward and then coming out of there. All the while, these legs are super active. Coming forward, moving into that side plane, and out of there. I like to do about four reps in each plane. The third plane is the rotational plane. Take that hand in front of you, the hand up, and as I move forward, driving that right knee forward, that left foot pulling back, I rotate my chest away from the leg that I'm stretching and then coming back and out of there. The biggest thing you have to watch out for here is that you don't arch your low back. You want to keep what's called a neutral pelvis. And if you're doing this pulling and pushing, you're going to have a neutral pelvis. So this is the hip flex stability stretch.